when did you become known as the hitman? So, yeah, it took me about all the training camp to come to the realization this is what I'm, I'm going to be. And, and that, that really, really then brought the hitman out. That, that did it. That, it because I couldn't have played and practiced every day without having it. I mean, that I went 100 miles an hour every single day. You had no choice. Yeah, I had no choice. I, I really did. And uh, yeah, so I had to learn how to practice that way too because I didn't know how to practice without going 100% because, you know, Coach Fish, you know, was sure. like, hey, you're going you to slow down. You're going to not only hurt yourself, but you're going to hurt your teammates. So I, I had to figure that out too. But uh, that, that was after the fact, like after uh, Buddy Ryan left. You know, going in or going into training camp, um, you know, late great, you know, Mr. Adams said that this is, this, if we don't go to the Super Bowl, this team will be dismantled. Yes. So, uh, I, you know, I was rookie, so I'm, I'm baffled, like, oh, I'm, I'm gonna get cut. <laughs> so I, I didn't know what was going on. I had no idea. And you and, started uh, that year. Yeah, I, I eventually got to that uh, yeah, as a starter, and uh, I think that kind of, I had a really good game there. On Christmas Day, as a, as a starter at safety, and uh, played a lot up to that point. But then eventually, I started and uh, had a sack, Kyle Spong on Steve Young, and I kind of set the tone for my career. But uh, yeah, that that was uh, I, I would have never imagined I'd have been playing safety and, uh, in that defense and having success. But to everyone's credit, involved that whether it was the scouting department, the coaching staff, Buddy Ryan, and everything else, it fit every elite skill set that I had. Had to learn, you know, how to read defenses, I mean, the offensive linemen and, and how to fit. And then I was always strong. So I had, you know, I was squatting, you know, 400 some pounds in, in college. So I was, he, he taught me how to use my power and even going against the guys that were bigger than me in 6'5", and how to come with all these different moves. Uh, coach Bettis uh, was my DB coach. He was an old gentleman who taught me a lot of different things, how to, uh, not take the brunt of blows when I had to be 